My name is Jacqueline Duarte and I'm from the School of Education at the University of Western Sydney and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my ongoing research. My research interests include teachers' approaches to language and literacy teaching and learning for culturally and linguistically diverse students. I'm particularly interested in the social and cultural dimensions of language and literacy learning within diverse schools. My ongoing body of research explores connections between language, identity and learning and how these influence classroom practice and educational equity in culturally and linguistically diverse educational settings. I'm informed by sociocultural theory and anthropological and sociological perspectives and I employ ethnographic methodology. It's an exciting time in language and literacy research and especially in studying the cognitive, social and cultural benefits of bilingualism and multilingualism for both adults and children. For me, the added dimension in this work is the link it offers between language and identity and how these explorations support engagement and belonging for many young people in our schools. Western Sydney is an increasingly exciting and diverse community and Western Sydney schools reflect this diversity. Our young people include Aboriginal students and students from migrant and refugee backgrounds from all over the world. Our students speak a variety of languages and dialects and switch codes and registers with regularity in a range of environments. One of the key tenets of learning theory is to begin by recognising the skills, knowledges and understandings students bring to school and then to build on them in school for learning. However, despite teachers' best intentions, exploring the wide-ranging linguistic knowledge, skills and understandings of students can be difficult, especially within a crowded curriculum. As a teacher educator, I'm interested in supporting teachers to recognise young people's multilingual and home language skills in order to use them in school to support students' learning I conduct research in primary and public high schools and engage young people as linguistic ethnographers of their own language and literacy practices. This involves young people in studying the ways they read, write, talk, listen and view every day inside and outside of school in one or more languages. And we do this as part of the curriculum. Students are engaged as researchers and their teachers of their own practices. We begin by helping students to learn how to be researchers. They collect their own data, for example, how many languages they speak, in what context and with whom, if they translate, if they learn languages formally, outside or inside of school, with family members, and detail the ways they communicate in one or more languages or dialects in online environments. Students interview each other, collate all their own data, and then they reflect on what is learned about themselves, about each other and the school community. In this work, students are employing talking and listening skills, math skills, research skills and critical thinking. Another key element of this work is linguistic mapping or ethno-linguistic mapping, where students represent visually their everyday worlds. These vivid maps have generated lots of excitement and interest from students and led teachers in developing lessons and activities that meet across curriculum outcomes, particularly English. They've been used for oral presentations, for writing, for further study of places or discussions of global issues. Students analyse their own maps, use Venn diagrams to compare their maps to each other. These maps have helped teachers to see what students know and can do and also to see how students view the relationship between home and school. Currently this work has been extended to include bilingual reading where parents and community members have been invited to read text to students in multiple languages. I'm currently writing up about these findings, but preliminary findings reveal that this has had a significant impact on intercultural understanding, on students' metalinguistic awareness, and on community involvement and participation. Overall in this research, in 10 schools with 26 teachers and 500 students, we see a very strong relationship between language and identity for students, that they don't recognise the inherent value or skill in being multilingual or bilingual. They're not seeing a clear link between the language and literacy practices of home and school. This work also creates a space for a shared repertoire where students are validated and their language and literacy practices and understandings are used in meaningful ways. Research evidence suggests that there is high engagement and a positive effect on students' learning and it has increased and improved their writing, their motivation and their confidence particularly in learning English. Teachers have found that their students engaged in wide-ranging complex language and literacy practices in many environments that they were previously unaware of. 
And this is the case for both multilingual and monolingual students in the schools we've been working in with. Teachers have created authentic curriculum, particularly around register dimensions and metalinguistic awareness. And they've increased the complexity of the task they've assigned to students, their students as a result of what they've found out. This has also increased community engagement, involvement and participation in school.